We are exceedingly excited to host a wonderful show, uh, Fissures and Cracks, which is visual works of and by the homeless of Tampa Bay. And we have a combination of artists involved. We have Tim Kennedy, who is a professor of communication here, and he created the photography series. And then we also have two artists who have worked with the Portico and the Tampa Museum of Art through Art Space. The Portico is actually a division of the United Methodist Church in High Park. One of the programs that we have at our church that we're really well known for is our open arms ministry. It began as a feeding ministry for homeless and low income individuals and families. And it's grown to uh, serve over 200 people every Sunday morning on the Hyde Park campus. And I began to observe that we had people right there every Sunday morning who have natural artistic talents and abilities. And one of my very favorites is Larry. It was just a gift when I was a little kid. I drew mostly from kindergarten, in high school, and then in college also. He can tell you more about his story, uh, though I feel like Larry speaks most clearly through his art. And so um, we were approached by some folks with the University of Tampa and the Tampa Museum of Art to uh, develop a partnership where we could offer art classes for folks that were from our group. And so we um, started hosting the classes downtown at our Portico campus. So once a week, we have art classes for some folks who don't have homes, but they have artistic talent and they have a story to tell. I worked many years in, with the homeless population, and I worked in many, many homeless shelters in many places. And there's a regimen. I mean, you need to come in, you usually have to have an ID, which you don't usually have. Um, you have to be able to kind of fit into a mold. You're out of the shelter from nine to five. You have to follow all these regimens to, you know, you have to be working, going to school. You have to be all these things, and it happens very fast. Here, we don't require any of those things. We're not there as, case managers or social workers to make sure that all those things are in place. What we are there for is just providing an hour rest to come in, you know, make some art, talk, connect with other people about your artwork. So that's why I think people keep coming because <laughs> they feel like they can just come and just, ah, let me take a deep breath. What art therapy has been able to do over its development is start to crack into people's visions, to see more about how they are and help them find ways of sharing things they may not be able to share so easily. Traumatic experiences, processes of how they ended up where they are, but also just part of your human soul can come out in the visual in a better way. The homeless are important to me because it was part of my life when I was younger. Um, being homeless myself for a short while uh, when I was a child and um, I always enjoyed art but was never allowed to do it when I was a child and um, it, it just was part of what interested me you know because it was two things that came together art and the homeless the animals are most meaningful I think because um, when I was being abused as a child, we had a dog that also got abused and it just upsets me so much when I see an animal that's being abused. And when I read my bio, um, I got a little bit emotional about that. Fissures in Cracks, I actually helped them come up with that. To me, it reflected some phrasing that I'd heard over, over the long discourse with regards to homelessness, that people fall through the cracks of society. And then I looked at the photography that you see that Tim Kennedy did, and I just sat there and I'm like, look at the wrinkles on these people's faces. Look at the, the depth that is just on the surface. I can't imagine how this couldn't be more like a fissure, a way to dive into these people's minds and the way to dive into who they are, their personalities, so that we can find out how better to serve them. I don't think people understand that you can all be homeless within a few months. When my husband lost his job at one time, he reminded me very much so that we were only a few paychecks away from being that. They're not what they call bums on the corner. They are genuine people 
who would, most of them would like a job and would like to get back on their feet. And I think people need to remember that. I love that he uses art to speak when maybe words would limit what he would have to say to us. I actually have a little story for you, if you'd like it. So last year before Hurricane Irma, you may recall that everybody here, we thought it was coming to get us. And so um, I actually drive a convertible. I was driving up Florida Avenue looking for homeless folks that I might know who might not have a safe place to go. And I found Larry sitting on Florida Ave with his suitcases. We piled the suitcases in the car and we look for public shelter. But one of the things Larry asked me was would I keep his art? Because he didn't want to take it with him into a public shelter and risk anything happening to it. And so I took it home and kept it safely for him. Larry loves his art and it's his baby. I do sell a little art on the streets sometimes. I'm glad it's on the loss that it's in my briefcase.